EXP RTR EXP RTR Hey everyone, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we have a somewhat confusing unboxing. Now, of course, in front of you, you do have the Arma EXP Outcast 6S BLX. Now, everyone knows the EXPs have kind of been this roller chassis, kind of add on your own electronics. They give you lots of upgrades inside of the box, but I noticed something on this box. It says RTR way down here. So is this really an RTR EXP? I'm confused. I got this about a week and a half ago directly from Horizon Hobby, and typically we get little letters that say, hey, here's this new vehicle, please don't post any videos until such and such date. I didn't get a letter. I reached out to Horizon, I got no response. So here's the video. Now with that full disclosure, I'm gonna be flying kind of blind in this video. I don't have a spec sheet, I don't have a website, pretty much nothing to go off but this box right here that screams RTR, Spectrum, Firma, ABC, all those things are listed on this box, but let's see what you get inside of here. Now, speculating a little bit about price of this vehicle, of course, this is an EXP, so it has all the upgrades installed and it's an RTR. Now, pricing from the previous versions of the Outcast and the Notorious, the EXP, the roller chassis, retailed for right around $469. The RTR version, less the EXP upgrades, retailed for right around $549, up to $569 for the 2020 version of the Notorious, which is kind of outcast stepsister vehicle. Now my best estimate on what the price could be on this Outcast 6S EXP RTR, my guess, this is gonna fall into right around that $649 price tag. I don't think they're gonna push quite towards the 700 because then honestly you're getting into the 8S vehicle lineup, the fifth scale of the Outcast and kind of the Creighton lineup. So I think they're gonna keep it in the sixes. My prediction, 640 for this guy. As far as available colors, it's kind of like those old Fords. You can get pretty much any color you like as long as you pick black. So yes, the Outcast EXP 6S BLX RTR comes in black only. As far as the stock electronics, looks like we're getting the Spectrum DX3 2.4 gigahertz radio system with AVC, the Spectrum S652 steel metal gear digital servo, the Firma 150 amp smart ESC, and the motor is the 4070 2050 kV Firma brushless sensorless motor. As with most modern day RCs, you'll have to supply your own AA batteries for the remote. You'll need four of those your own charger for your lithium batteries, and you'll need a combination of various batteries for the car. You can have either one 6S, one 4S, two 3Ss, or two 2S batteries. As far as all of the EXP upgrades, I'm gonna link in the upper right-hand corner of this video over to my Creighton video, where I went in depth on all of these upgrades. They are pretty cool. You get a lot of bang for your buck with the EXP upgrades, including 7075 machine aluminum, a lot of parts, including the chassis plates and the shock towers. You do get those cool limited slip differentials, and those are in all three now, not just the front two like we saw in the Creighton. You get various other braces and driveline features that are kind of upgraded and give you that little bit of peace of mind when you are out bashing this thing, doing massive jumps and whatnot. And the coolest thing about Armas, they actually do listen to their customers, and they take that input and make each version of these vehicles just a little bit better than the last version. Finally, before we dive into the box, I know someone's gonna ask, is it waterproof? Yes, it's waterproof. Before we get to the start of the show, let's go over some of the supplement items that come inside the box. What Arma calls the Speed Pinion. This is a 16 tooth Mod 1 pinion. A bag of extra plastic parts, including body mounts and pistons. A bag of tools, including cross wrenches, wheel wrenches, and hex wrenches. The Creighton EXB bag, or in other words, diff shims to make your diffs a little bit tighter. Some official Arma decals. The Arma Speed Chart 
start for this actual outcast with claimed speeds up to 60 mile per hour with the included speed pinion running on the 6s battery an arma outcast exp 6s blx technical pack including exploded views on pretty much everything on the vehicle and finally the owner's manual for the outcast exp 6s blx rtr and the Talion EXB. Hmm. Finally, the included radio, the Spectrum DX3. This is pretty much a full feature RTR remote, as good as you're gonna get with an RTR vehicle. It has pretty much all of your reversing switches on the very top, including a throttle limit, which is great for kids. You do have the AVC steering rate, brake rate, steering trim, throttle trim all on the side, a bind button, and you also have a third channel down here on the bottom. Finally, the wheel does feel pretty good in hand, and the throttle has a pretty good response. This does run on four AA batteries that you do need to supply yourself. And finally, the Arma Outcast EXP 6S BLX RTR. That's a lot of acronyms there, but I said it once again. Now, what makes this Outcast kind of the perfect storm of RCs is you do get all of the EXP features. I'm going to link to a video in the upper right hand corner to my Creighton video. Once again, that has all of the upgrades in detail that's on this Outcast, just similarly spec'd on the Creighton. Now I'll also link to my Outcast video, the original Outcast, the V1, right when it first came out. I'll link to that one in the upper right hand corner here as well. That'll go over exactly what the Outcast is. Now if you're not familiar with the Outcast. The Outcast is based on a truggy width, but a buggy length. So it definitely has a shorter wheelbase than the Creighton or the Talion, but it has the wheelbase of like a Typhon or a one eight scale buggy. Now with the giant tires on this thing, you are able to control this thing in there pretty easily and stunt truck this thing. You can do backflips, front flips, pretty much anything you want with this thing in air with the power of 6S voltage. But first to give you just some highlights of the Outcast 6S BLX EXB RTR. Once again, it does come with the D-Boots tires. Now these things are the backflips. Some people call them the 6S backflips. Probably one of my favorite RTR tires on pretty much anything out there. These things are actually spec on so many vehicles, including like the MT410 from Techno. A lot of people run these tires on many other vehicles. Vehicle, so that says a lot about these. Now, another cool feature on this EXP version of the Outcast is the paint job on the actual body. And I've said it before, this is probably one of my favorite monster truck bodies. Has kind of that old Ford pickup truck look. Love the roll cage. Love that it has a bed and it actually looks like a truck. And Arma always does a great job of their paint jobs, including not only a gloss finish, but also kind of those matte features as well. They do a great job on their bodies. Now, the front end of the truck, you do get a very nice front skid guard and also a front bumper just to protect some things. All of the details of the front end are just spectacular with the decals, the X'd out headlights, the no step badging, and of course the don't just bash blast logo from Arma. On the backside of the Outcast, you do get a smaller than normal aid skill wing and you do get a wheelie bar because after all this is a stunt truck, you're going to be doing some wheelies and this will keep you on the ground so you can keep running. With the body off, you can definitely see some of those EXP upgrades, but also the new RTR electronics inside of the Outcast EXP. Starting with the Spectrum S652 Servo. Now, of course, this is digital, it's waterproof, it's all metal gears, has about 265 ounce inches of torque, so it's a good starter servo for your RTR. The ESC is the Spectrum Firma 150 amp smart waterproof ESC, capable of 4S up to 6S. It includes IC5 connectors, actually two of them, with a little loop if you want to run just one battery. And if you use Spectrum smart batteries, you can actually 
actually get input onto the included radio as far as your battery voltage. The Spectrum Firma brushless sensorless motor is a 4074 can and a 2050 kV option. It is of course capable up to 6S LiPo and it does come with this giant Arma heat sink on top of it with some holes if you do want to mount a fan later on down the line. The new battery trays from Arma are probably one of the most versatile battery trays on the market. Of course you have all this great velcro strapping. You do have some wire management on top there over here on the side as well for your balance plugs. You do have an adjustable nose right here that can take some pretty large 3S packs stacked on top of each other. Looking at the underside of the Outcast EXP, you can see the beauty of this 7075 aluminum chassis. All the details on the bottom that'll most likely get scratched, but of course EXP stands for Extreme Bash. Their logo, you do get a nice little uh, if you can read this, just send it. And of course, the original Arma Motorworks logo. Well, guys, that is it. That is my quick look at the brand new Arma Outcast EXP 6S BLX RTR. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this vehicle. Do you think there's a place for this in the market? Is $649 estimated too much for an RTR vehicle? Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Also, what would you have done different on this vehicle? Would you have put different electronics, more upgrades, different tires, different colors? Put those comments on down in the comment section. But like usual, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. Finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.